All right, this video is how to enable your phone for screen recording. First hit settings, then you're gonna to go to control center, hit that, then you're gonna go customize control. All right, so these are the ones that you already have on your control center, camera, flashlight, timer, calculator. Now I'm gonna go down here, I'm gonna find screen recording. I'm gonna click on that green plus button and that's gonna add it up there. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna add voice memos and um, this one here. All right, so now if I go up here and I look at this, I got the camera, I got the flashlight, I got the timer, I got a calculator, I got my screen recordings. And, um, oh, I don't have my, where's my camera at? Is my camera up there? Oh, there it is, yeah. I'm gonna move my screen recording underneath my camera and I'm gonna keep the flashlight there and I'm gonna move my calculator here. And you do that just by grabbing this these bars and pulling it. And that changes your configuration. Now those are all the ones that are included in here. So let's go back, I'm gonna press here. And now to get access your control center on a six plus or one of these older phones, you go from the bottom up. And as you can see, there's my camera, there's my screen recording, my calculator, voice memo, flashlight, uh, do not disturb. And you can change a couple other things in here. That's how you get your phone enabled for screen recording. All right, how to do a screen recording. Well, it's very simple. First of all, you got to figure out what you want to record. So let's go ahead and go to uh, Instagram. And I'm going to go ahead and open up. Uh, uh, let me look at my kiteboard one this time. All right, so I'm on my kiteboard. Now I want to go back. Uh, now I'm going to go to the bottom. I'm going to pull up my um, control center. So the control center you set up in your settings. And I've already added this little uh, button, which is my... A screen recording. So the way I record, all I do is I press this. It gives me a countdown. So I get two, three, and one. So bam, right now I'm recording. The way I know that is I've got this red bar up here. All right, if I'm, you know, satisfied with my recording, look, I've just a little bit of movement. What I would do is I come up and I would hit the bar at the top and it says screen recording, stop screen recording. So then you just press stop and that stops your screen recording. It automatically saves it in your photo app. Okay, so we just go like that. It opens up our photo app. Whoops, no, it doesn't. So I'm going to go back, and there it is. There, I did open up the photo app, but I was it tricked me because I'd made a screen recording of Instagram, and I thought it was an Instagram. So here's our screen recording. I open it up, I press it, and there it plays through. Pretty soon you'll see me uh, uh, moving it in a second because it's a couple of minutes. There I'm kind of scrolling through it. I scroll back down, and that's pretty much the end of it, and it stops. All right, so... Um, there's the little thing that says to play it. If you want to play it, you can. If you want to edit it, what we can do is we go up here and it's going to show us down here our recording. And I'm going to slide it over a little bit until it starts to move. And then I'm going to bring it over here. And I'm just going to go ahead and hit done. And that's going to give me a whole new clip. And that clip's going to be saved in front. All right, so now if I go back I'm going to see there's my original clip, and here's my edited clip. So let's go ahead and watch it. And this is only a six-second clip. And when it's done, it's going to show the little uh, play icon in the middle. And that says that you saw the whole video. All right, so if you want to get rid of it, the way you do is you just hit delete, and that'll delete the video. All right, and that's pretty much how you do it. Um, if you like this video, I've got a bunch on iPhone. I've got a bunch on iPad. I've got a bunch on Mac and the tutorials in Final Cut Pro, and I also have a bunch of YouTube tutorials in there. So check them out and subscribe to my channel. Bye.